Hi guys, I'm here to do episode 3 of my journey to weight loss and today I'm gonna let everybody know what are the main things that I cut out of my life. Um, so I have a list here of 15 things that I um, chose to give away, um, to give up when it comes to eating habits and um, now those things here they are not a rule they are a choice so therefore if I have um, a day where I go out with my husband or something like that I'm not gonna care for this um, I'm gonna enjoy okay I already talked about uh, that in a previous video so without further ado here are the 15 things that I cut out of my life and it has helped me um, with my weight loss journey. So number one is sugar. No more sugar, simple like that. So then when I go grocery shop, generally I'm, I'm a label like crazy because I'm reading all the ingredients and stuff. So no sugar. Um, flour, number two here. Flour, I try to avoid everything with flour on it. Um, number three, fried foods really bad for you all those oils and stuff no good so i try to avoid fried food and even now that i'm doing this diet here if i actually eat something that is fried after like eight months clean eating um i get a bad indigestion if i do so no fried food if i am craving fried foods um, i do have an air fryer and i don't add any oil to it i just air fry like wings, one day I'm going to make a recipe that I have for wings that even my husband likes very much. So air fry, good option, but not not regular fry. Number four in my list is fast food. No. And this is pretty much a rule for me. Um, I don't break my diet for fast food at all. It's not worth it. Not good for you. Very bad. So... It's going to be very, 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 very hard to see me eating fast food. Um, and if you do, please knock out of my hand. <laughs> but no, no fast food. Uh, number five here, overly processed uh, foods. Like, for example, sausages, hot dogs. Those things I'm not adding to my diet. Um, like cabasas, things like that. Uh, and I enjoy those things very much. But they don't agree with me anymore since I started clean eating. And like even the other night I made cabasa for my husband. It was delicious, yes. But like instantly I had like this major um, stomach ache after it. Because I'm not, I'm not eating that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, and another thing that I just want to add salad dressings i'm not doing that anymore either because if you look at ingredients it's so full of stuff that you shouldn't be eating so i either make my own salad dressing one of these days i can share the recipe with you guys or simple balsamic vinegar not vinaigrette balsamic vinegar or just oil and vinegar if i go to a restaurant lemon is also a very good thing to put on your salads but none of those salad, even if it says light or it's not, okay? Letting you know. Number six in my list is regular pasta. Those white pastas, I'm not doing that anymore. Very sad because I love pasta, but it's not good for you. So I don't, I, don't, I don't choose to do it. And if I am craving pasta and it's so bad that I have to eat pasta, I'll go for a brown rice pasta. And I look at the ingredients. If it is brown rice only and water, that's what I'm looking for. Nothing with um, extra ingredients here and there. Um, I do have a brand that I love very much that you can find in Costco's. Those are ramen, brown rice, ramen noodles. One of these days, um, I'll make a product spotlight where I talk about products that I like and I'll feature that there for you guys to see. But brown rice and look at the ingredients. No more than three ingredients, okay? It's not necessary. Um, pasta sauces. Because of pasta, now I'm going to talk about pasta sauce. All of this stuff has sugar in it. So, I'm not doing sugar. So... I'm not doing pasta sauce. I generally make my own. Um, I have zillions of recipes for pasta sauce. And now 
uh, if I do end up eating, I choose like better brands out there. Like Trader Joe's has an organic one that is very good or Rails, I think is very good too. But I really try to avoid, but if I am gonna eat, those are gonna be my brands that I go for. And um, because if not, as soon as I eat, uh, my stomachs get bothered now that I'm clean eating. Um, number eight, sodas. That is a rule for me. I'm not doing sodas anymore. The period. I chose to cut that out of my life. That For me, that's trash. And I don't need that in my life. So, sodas at all, you're not going to see me doing it. I drink my teas. Make a lot of iced tea. No sodas. Sodas, bad. Candies and sweets. I try to cut that out of my life. But sometimes, especially on my period, if I'm craving a piece of chocolate... I'm gonna have a little piece, whatever. But um, majority here is that I'm not doing it. And I avoid to buy it. I don't buy it in my house anymore. I don't bring it inside of the house. Um, but in special occasions, like at Valentine's Day, my husband gave me chocolate. And I was like, okay, I'll eat it. In a special occasion here and there, I might have a piece. But rule here is that candies and sweets in general are not in my diet snacks i'm not snacking anymore it's not necessary especially now that i'm fasting and my eating window is so small now it's only eight hours i don't feel hungry like right now is um 3 40 and i'm not hungry at all so why am i gonna snack there's no it's not necessary okay not even a healthy snack i'm not i'm not hungry so if i'm not hungry i'm not gonna eat period um so I avoid buying, I don't buy chips, I don't buy uh, dips, I don't buy anything anymore. It doesn't come inside this house because it's not necessary, right? I don't need snacks. Um, but if I do go to a party and you see me going for the cheap bowl, it's fine if you do that once in a blue moon. But in a room in the house, I don't buy snacks anymore. So no snacking. And... Um, because generally, like, when I'm eat, uh, watching TV, that's the time that I want snack the most. And the time that I watch TV now, like, is any time after 6. And any time after 6, now I'm fasting. So, fasting was great for me because now I, I don't need to snack. I'm not going to pop some popcorn and just watch a movie at night because I'm fasting. And I don't feel like doing, I don't feel like breaking my fast for a snack. It's not necessary. So, no more snack. Uh, canned foods. I'm trying to avoid that. Those canned soups, you're not going to see me eating that. If I want soup, I'm going to make my own soup. Um, the only thing that I'm still, like, doing bad is, like, with beans and stuff. And I really try. I, I just went groceries and I bought a, a real package of beans. So, tonight I'm going to let them soak and then cook the way you're supposed to for the next day, but the majority, um, I cut all cans, canned vegetables, canned soups, can everything. Um, and my goal now, my next goal is to be able to prepare, the, pre, pre-cook my beans, so then uh, on my day off, so then during the week I always have beans and I don't need to reach for the can because it's easy. Because can is not good. To be in a can, to be able to be like, in a shelf forever. It has to have chemicals on it. And we don't want that in our bodies, right? Okay. Cut the sodium is um, number uh, 12 here. So, as I said, I'm, I'm like the label nerd and all. So, I always look. If a s sodium is high on an item, I generally don't buy. And... Um, and when I'm cooking, I'm very cautious to when I add the salt. Um, I'm not cutting salt completely out, out of my life because we do need that little sodium intake a day. Um, but uh, it's to the minimum, really. I season my food very well, but be very careful with sodium sodium makes you bloat and is bad for blood pressure and all of this stuff that you don't want in your life so um and that's a good reason why i cut canned foods 
or frozen foods or any kind of this kind of things because it's bloated with sodium. Why? You know, you don't need that. Number 13, regular milk, which is very sad. If you know me, you know that I'm a person that really enjoys my whole milk, like a cup of whole milk in the morning with some oval maltini, which is like oval tini kind of deal. Um, it's a malty chocolate uh, uh, beverage I like to add to my milk. I used to do that every single morning. Now I don't do that anymore. So I tried to find milk alternatives. I tried almond milk, wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy about it. I tried oat milk, very good. I like oat milk, but it has it's quite high in carbs, so be careful with that. And the one that I'm now drinking every single day is coconut milk. There's a few brands that I like a lot, and I'll, one day I'll make a video showing that to you guys. But coconut milk is what I use to put in my smoothies, to add to my teas, or even to make soups and sauces. Like, I can make like an Alfredo sauce with coconut milk that is to die for. One of these days I'll share the recipe with you guys as well. Um, number 14 is very sad because I used to do that every single day. Iced coffees and lattes from like Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. I used to get that every single day, literally. There was not a day before my diet that I would not stop right in front of my work. I have a Dunkin' Donut. So it was like breakfast was there every morning. And then those drinks are like packed with sugar. And um, my brain used to be like, extra sugar, please. Like, seriously. Now looking, I mean, <laughs> Looking back, I was like, why, why, why the extra sugar? <laughs> anyway, so no more of that. And that's why learning all of this stuff about the tea made my life so much uh, easier now because I now add coconut milk to my beverages if I want to make a latte and I have a frother that makes the coconut milk very frothy and delicious. I I add liquid stevia for the sweet um all my teas if I want to make a latte or coffee, uh, iced coffee, I make it that way with coconut milk and sweet um, liquid stevia from Trader Joe's. They have an organic organic one, very good. So that's how I make my lattes now. Um, but no, I don't go to those places because it's full of stuff. The only thing that I actually break my rules is if I go to the mall, like, very seldomly i don't like going to the malls yeah i don't like shopping hmm. unless it's for tea but i'm not a kind of like to go shopping kind of woman so but if i do go to the mall for any reason and i see a starbucks there i'll make a point to order myself a nice iced uh, matcha latte because it's amazing but it's packed with sugar and it's so bad and I feel very bad afterwards but it's so good it feeds my soul you know what I mean so sometimes if I know that I want to have a treat meal I'll choose that and the last thing in my list is also very sad is bread I don't eat bread anymore at least not white bread and uh, if I am feeling like I need uh, to make a sandwich or something like that I'm gonna look for breads with low so um, low sodium low carbs there's a lot of brands out there i also found some wraps there are like carb smart or something like that very it's very good for you too it's like five grams i don't know how many grams are carbs but it's like low and they make good sandwiches or i can make 90 second bread that everybody talks on the internet that you use almond flour, um, yogurt, Greek yogurt, and an egg, I think you mix it all together with some baking soda. I don't know. I don't know the recipe off on the top of my head, but you put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and puffs up and it is a bread. You cut, slice it up, toast it, boom, bread. And it's actually very delicious. So, so far I'm doing very good as far as this stuff here. Um, if I go out on a date with my husband, like for Valentine's Day, I went out and I did end up like, you know, having, I think it was like, I had like a um, Vios Nicho or something like that. It was a German restaurant. So it was like breaded and fried. Um, 
but you have to be wise when you do this stuff you need to plan ahead and know what you're gonna eat and uh, if i choose to do a treat meal and go out of my diet for that one meal please do not incorporate everything in that list in that one meal because come on but choose wisely like if i am craving a bowl of alfredo pasta from the restaurant uh, in the town here that uh, makes an amazing alfredo sauce go for it choose wisely plan for it no friday i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna have that bowl of alfredo pasta then do it have fun with it but don't make a habit of always always breaking a diet because that's not good all um also but it is important to have those days where you treat yourself um because if not it goes it goes down very fast and then you decide to break the diet period because you simply can't okay so but that's um i'm pretty sure there's many more things uh that i don't eat anymore but these are the main things um that i cut uh and also it's important for you guys to know this is not a rule unless i said some of those here i said is a rule but unless i didn't say that uh, you know it's not a rule is a choice so i don't want to say that that's my diet because diet seems to be so rigid you have to be flexible, but also you are in charge. Make sense? So not a rule is a life is a lifestyle change. I decide that I don't want to eat those things anymore because it doesn't make me feel good. So now like my husband and I went out yesterday and um, I had a salad in a restaurant and then later that night, he decided he was hungry and we stopped at McDonald's, which is my big no-no. So he asked, oh, do you want some? And I'm like, no, thanks. I'm actually fasting right now. So as he was eating his burger, um, I look at that and I'm like, that's nasty. That is gross. It wasn't appealing to me anymore. After eating clean for nine months, because I think it's nine months now that I've been in this diet, I actually look at that burger and even the smell of it makes me nauseous because it's, it doesn't agree with me anymore. So it becomes very easy as the more you stick to your diet, it becomes very easy for you to just say no to things. And I still enjoy life. I still do a lot of things. Um, but it's, if I don't feel like I the need to eat something, I just not. So, if you are just starting, just keep in mind that it's going to get easy. Like, for me right now, it's very easy to say no, no, thank you. So, um, but that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I plan very soon to make a video of the things that I'm eating, like, staple foods in my house here for me. And uh, show some brands for you guys that I really love. So, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Um, thanks for joining my journey. And if you guys have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.